So right here, we want to automatically generate the total price. So what, what do we get? Because if you're getting an item one with a four, uh, quantity of four and the unit price for each item is 30 means 30 times four. So what we can do is use the sum function. Okay. With, uh, with this cell. So we can click on the cell or write the cell number, which is six C, which is C six okay so i'm just going to tap on it with a multiplication that is the asterisk and then i tap on these to pick those two cells and i press enter all right so it means this okay um item that has been purchased give us what 120 of a total price so let me use a particular specific currency here which is ghs that is in ghana cities just use a GHS okay all right so Ghana cities meaning we need two extra um, dots actually zeros at the end so what I can do is highlight on all of these column here okay my total should have it so I'll use the control to select this select this as well and select the total cost as well now I'll right click on that and go for format going format i can go for my number and then um use separators yes because you're gonna have thousands and all of that and decimal places too yeah that is basically what i want so i'll go for okay and i'm good to go so right now if i want to replicate this particular function that we have here to the bottom all i need to do is just pull this cell from the right bottom all the way to the last item and i have everything calculated for me nicely now the total needs to be the summation of this cell all the way down to what this cell so to do that just use the same sum function should bring your equal to sign we're summing this cell which is e6 all the way down to then we'll bring in the e15 and then we can add that up okay oops sorry it's supposed to be a column <laughs> because when you bring the co comma or you bring the plus you're actually just summing up the first and the last cell but when you bring the column it brings up the summation of everything for you now our tax is supposed to be 15 percent off this and the tax is supposed to be paid by the client big bro so what do we do all we need to do is use the sum the sum is very very important here so sum 50 percent is 0 0.15 multiply by the total all right so when we plot that up is 63.60 that's what that means all right so this needs to be added to the total the tax needs to be added to the total to get the total cost of whatever the client is going to pay so right now Get the total amount the individual is supposed to pay, which is adding up the total and the tax to get what, what he's going to pay. All right, guys, that's not all. Now, before we go ahead generating our invoice, I made a mistake here. Invoice. Before we go ahead generating our invoice, what if because this particular format can also be used for receipt as well so i want to give you a simple way here what if the user gives us an amount of 500 that's a 500 kind of cities and you need it to give him a change you don't need to do that manually by calculating no all you need to do is just use this so let's just put here let's say 
um, amount amount given okay and then over here we'll go here and just change so how do we get the amount the amount given you will need to input that so the change will have to be equal to with the sum of whatever has been given in this cell okay with a subtraction of whatever has to be paid, which is the total cost, would amount to the change. So currently nothing has been given, that's why you have this amount here. So probably if we have 500 given, I mean you need to give a change of what? Of 12.40, that's 12 cities, 40 best price basically. So I'm just going to center that nicely. Okay, this is not going to be part of our printout, it's just part of our Excel document, so don't be worried much about it showing up. So I'm going to put this in some colors. Oops, yeah, that is too piercing. So, okay, any problem? No problem. So that's cool. And um, what we can do is move on. So, what else can we do here? Let's add some borders so I right click on it and go for format cells and then I'll select my borders and give it a, a tick border will do right okay I think this border is fine so I'll put it in everything like that oh so I guess like this so when I go for print preview I get something of this sort this is what we got so what we can do is on the normal margins we can go for custom margins and then set it to horizontally center on page and go for ok so it's going to be centered for us so this is actually cool so we can go over back I'm going to remove all the borders I have here. It's not really making okay a good feel for me. So I'm going to highlight that. Remove the top. This. I'm going to remove this as well. This as well. This as well. I'm going to go for okay. All right, just to get something like this. Okay guys, so right now that we got automated, okay, and my totals and tax could also be given different colors altogether. But at this point in time, I'm going to remove these borders right here. From other cell. Remove all of this. So again, this my phone style style I'm using as well could also be I like to use the color to the light. Very good. 